Hey everyone, so I got these bathtubs from Dollar Tree and the hair curlers um, that are foam. They're like Barbie doll pool noodles. So I glued them to the cutoff edge. Um, those are sinks that I molded. Those are toilets from Fish Fisher Price doll houses. Um, but anyway, I the way I did the tubs is I covered them in wood glue and then I did the spackle and Mod Podge mix and did a coat over the wood glue of the tubs. And that was just a view of the room that I'm turning into a bathroom. So I'm just drilling the holes for the faucets that I got from Minimum World. Sorry that beginning was like a bit sporadic. <laughs> um, so yeah, I um, just... Oh, and then I covered the tubs. So I did wood glue, I did the spackle, Mod Podge mix, and then white paint over top. The sinks I did molds of that you can see in the background, and I just got a piece of styrofoam and that's how I created the sink countertops. Um, and I used the faucets I also got from Minimum World for the sinks. I literally ordered the perfect amount. <laughs> like, I don't know how I did it, but everything was just so cheap there. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is my motivation. I can get the bathroom done now in the asylum. And I'm using wooden, um, like shish kebab sticks that I got from Timu and toothpicks, both to create like the water source, um, to fill the bathtubs. Uh, and I followed the tubs, you know, looking up girl interrupted bathroom scenes and they were on top of these like tile, <laughs> things. Um, so the way I did the tile bathroom walls is just thin pieces of cardboard that I had. I made an order from Chewy and they put those weird corrugated pieces in and I, that's what I used. Um, so, but I did cover the first layer with wood glue to protect it from warping if I were to paint over top and in the movie the um, bathroom is like this ugly yellow tile and then above that is white walls so I'm trying to follow the accuracy of the movie but still make it my own oh good I'm showing how I did the sinks <laughs> so yeah, I got this sink from a Hobby Lobby. I've had it forever. And I'm like, let me just mold the top of this. And so I did and I made copies. And so that works out. And I'm covering the styrofoam in wood glue because it just makes it so strong. It makes the, the styrofoam very strong. And please stick around to the end because there is a funny quote from Lisa. <laughs> For those who have not seen the movie, maybe this quote will make you want to watch the movie. Um... And she's also been stalking me this entire time to make sure I get things done right. <laughs> so ridiculous. All right, so I am just scoring with a mini wood file into this construction foam. I don't know why I never know the name of it. 
but they use it for building and insulation. Insulation foam. There we go. Um, so I'm just scoring like it's tile, right? It's how I, the same way I did the tile walls in that other bathroom scene. And then I will again cover it with wood glue because it just, it sort of balances out the cracks. Like it will still have indentations, but it will act like, cause it's so, the wood glue is self leveling. So it will look like there's mortar in between the tiles. I just love wood glue. And all the aging that I do in this bedroom, it is the same as the kitchen. I didn't do any like latex peel or maybe I should. You guys let me know. I'm just like, I've had it. I just want it done because I'm ready to <laughs> make the rest of the cast. <laughs> I love how I did the tile flooring though. At first, when you see me do this, you'll be like, oh God, that looks terrible. But you'll see. We did have um, a little bit of linoleum left that we used on the catio outside. It has print on one side, but I used the back side to make the linoleum for this bathroom. Here we go. So I had a silicone oven mitt, right? I am just stamping it very crappily, <laughs> if that's even a word. But what I will do, at first I was looking at this and I'm like, oh, well, this is not going to work. But I sat there for a bit. And I was like, okay, where there are lines and just missing areas, I'm going to kind of bleed everything together because I feel like it would create like a more rotted look. And I, and also it, this will draw your eye away from these hard lines. I think I accomplished that pretty well. Um, I'm happy with it. Sorry I'm out of frame here. I've been really trying to like pay attention and make sure you guys can see it all. I clearly was at this for a very long time. But it was relaxing to me, so it didn't feel like a long time. There you go, I can finally start to see sort of how I'm blending everything together.
and I'm just trying to create like moisture moldy cracking just decayed to the max with the floor <laughs> I'm so sorry this is so long. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> but you can see the more I kind of go back over and over again, like I'll do portions, I'll take a step away, come back to it, and, and kind of squint a little to see like what is standing out is like not... Um, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. If it's too perfect, I want to mess it up is what I'm saying. So, um, I drew on this cardboard with a pen and then painted it, could see where I drew underneath and I used pan pastel. Once I did that, I covered the floor with a ton of diamond glazed mob podge whatever you call it the very shiny and um matte mod podge as well sort of like mixed together not perfectly like i sloppily mixed it together like i left the glaze in some spots and then the mat in other places of the bathroom floor i also glossed the tiles as well so, um, the moss that I am applying, the green moss, is from Moore's More Studio. I absolutely love it. It's just sponge that they've dyed, and it's, it's just great. Don't have to worry about it rotting like some weird moss that I got at Dollar Tree. It was like wet, and just, it started rotting. It was so gross. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, I used for the for the mirrors. I used foil uh, aluminum foil tape. That's it. I'm not going all out, you know, because I think in prisons they have like just a very shiny piece of steel. I would assume it is the same way in an asylum because you could break the mirror and hurt someone. So I'm thinking about safety this entire time. <laughs> And making it accurate. Um, so this is a piece of hemp. Uh, hemp fiber. Uh, I cannot remember where we got it. Keenan ordered it because we are using this to um, create the molds to make latex masks. It is to create um, a layer mixed in with stone so the mold doesn't crack. I painted that brown like a nutmeg brown I had these uh, leaves from Timu to make it look like vines growing into the bathroom because of the moisture and all that good stuff so and I just attached the leaves same way I did with the Sanderson house with the vines and the leaves just use Mod Podge to attach it putting the lights on the ceiling right now which is the, the calico critter lights and I'm just going to spread the vines out try to not make it too perfect I mean you're just trying to make it look you know as natural as possible like nature is taking over so, but yeah, um, if you have anything additional that you think I should do to make it look more abandoned, definitely leave a comment below for that. Um, those little uh, loofahs I got from Timu, they are so freaking cute. Love Timu. It's a problem. I've been avoiding it pretty well. Um, I went to Minimum World instead of Timu, so I'm not doing that well. 
um, I made this privacy thingy, whatever you call it, out of just wire, and then the wheels are jewelry pieces from Timu. I don't even know what you call them. I put actual, like, fabric on there, made it yucky, used antique wax like crazy throughout the scene and on that privacy uh, curtain. But, uh, yeah, Anjali, I mean, Lisa has been stalking me this entire time, smoking her cigarettes, um, making sure I'm doing this correct. And, uh, yeah, the fish, the Fisher Price toilets, um, I just, I painted those and I glued them to the miniature Jumanji blocks from Dollar Tree to just kind of make them more raised up, more one twelfth appropriate. And, um, I did a little drain in the hole in the floor there as well. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. I probably could add more, but I'm tired of it, and um, I'm pretty happy with it. You all have a wonderful week, and thank you so much for being here. Take care.